Hi everyone, it's time to announce the results of our competition. If you remember last week, we asked you to guess what would be the price of Bitcoin by today, 6 a.m. Eastern time. We received a total of 128 predictions and the winner is Shiran Goffer. His price prediction was $11,050, which was the closest to the price at 6 a.m. Eastern time on Coin360. So congratulations, Shiran. You want 50 US dollars credit to spend in our merch store. We are going to get in touch with you soon. Thanks a lot to all of you who participated. We are going to have more competitions coming soon. So stay tuned. Now let's go back to the crypto markets with Patrick Heuser. So Bitcoin experienced significant losses in the last couple of days. Um, almost 25% down the highs reached last week. So what do technical indicators show us at the moment? At some point, every parabola has to break. If you look at the daily chart, um, the level where it broke at around uh, 13,500 is not just a random level. It's basically the Fibonacci level of the down move we have seen from the top 20,000 down to 3,200. So it was expected that something is going to happen um, around this level. Now on the four hour chart, it looks like that we are in an ABC correction and that correction could go as low as 9,200. Um, but due to the strong trend, I expect the correction not to be as deep as other analysts are looking for. This downward trend uh, started last Thursday when uh, Coinbase reported an outage and later on, Mike Novogratz said he wished he sold more Bitcoin before the price dropped. So do you really think that these kind of events can have a strong impact on the price of Bitcoin? No, I don't think so. Um, the Coinbase um, incident was sort of unfortunate, but also expected. We have seen um, several exchanges and their UIs being overloaded um, on the day where the, the steep drop happened um, at uh, the 13,800 level. And Mike Novogratz's comment, he sort of um, said it got taken out of context and on his social media um, accounts, he corrected that statement somewhat and also said he's looking to sell, but then buy them back on a lower level, probably also in the ABC correction. So volatility, it's at its lowest point since the beginning of 2018. Is it a kind of healthy sign for the market, according to you? I think volatility is not a bad thing per se. I personally believe that we are back to more normal levels for the asset class and the current state we are in terms of price movements. And I'm referring to the, parabo to the broken parabola. Some analysts say that we are just at the beginning of a much, much significant correction, which will bring Bitcoin price as low as 40% the price that is now. So do you agree with this kind of prediction? I see this as unlikely um, because that would imply that we would correct the rally we have seen from three and a half thousand up to 13,800 by 61.8%. And as I mentioned before, corrections um, are rather going to be shallow because we see a lot of buying interest out there. Cointelegraph, like, subscribe and hodl.